In December of 1839, Edgar Allan Poe issued a challenge in Alexander's Weekly Messenger, stating he could solve any simple substitution cipher submitted by readers of the magazine. Poe's fascination with cryptography and ciphers came from his experience in the U.S. military, where ciphers were routine. Poe solved about 100 ciphers except two submitted by W.B. Tyler, which weren't solved for over 150 years. In 1843, Poe wrote a short story called The Gold Bug, where the lead characters must solve a puzzle or a cipher to find a buried treasure. Here's the encryption. This is the first cipher submitted by Mr. W.B. Tyler. The reason they weren't solved by Poe was because he said he was done with cryptograms. This first cipher was a mono substitution cipher. Here is the second, also submitted by W.B. Tyler, and it's a homophonic cipher. This is the gold bug cipher. Using simple substitution cipher and letter frequencies, in 1991, someone by the name of Terence Whalen solved the cipher, using clues from W.B. Tyler and Poe mentioning the difficulty of solving a cipher that has the letters of words reversed and spaces between words removed, also identifying a repeating three-letter pattern. Example, T-H-E becomes E-H-T. In 2000, Gil Broza, a software engineer from Toronto, broke this cipher by using his computer skills. He wrote a program and used patterns to solve the puzzle. For the cipher solved by Terence, he used a monoalphabetic substitution, but with every word written backwards and without break. Here is the cipher converted into ASCII. Then capital letter format. Then reverse everything. Then solve with patristocrat mode. Here it is. For Broza, he wrote a program which searches a word list to find a set of words having patterns, matching given cipher words, but after having no success, he discovered patterns and symbols and the words. He finally broke it. More than one cipher was used for a single letter. 26 letters were represented by 130 characters, including capitals, small letters, etc. With 660 letters, the letter frequency analysis would be used. The most frequent letter in English is E, and was represented by 14 different symbols. And while solving, he ran into a couple of problems, such as typos. In the cipher, reverse the text with text extractor then convert it to numerals, then plugged into a homophonic substitution cipher solver. Here it is. Here is the Goldbug cryptogram. Here's matching symbols with the letters. And here's the message.